My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Fallout 2. Oh yes, let's talk to this big burly man with a big burly barrel chest. You see Dangerous Dan McGrew, the owner of the Morningstar Mine. Hello there, my name is Dangerous Dan McGrew. I run the Morningstar Mine. Really? Why do they call you Dangerous Dan McGrew? Because I'm nothing but the biggest, toughest, mine crawling, gully wumping, snake eating buck. In these here parts, dangerous Dan McGrew, that's me, all right. Sounds like you're quite a guy, I don't want to take any more of your valuable time, Mr. Dangerous. You don't look so damn tough to me. Okay, them's fighting words, you ready to back that up? Yeah, you've opened your big yap too much. If I could use, if I thought I, you'd give me enough satisfaction to pay for the ammo it'd take to kill you. Mister, you ain't getting but two things from me. Jack and shit, and Jack's left town now. Get out of my sight. You want some of me? Come get some. Oh, get fucked, son. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Forever. I missed. I'm very sad now. Okay, people are coming to defend him. I don't like it. I don't like it. I've caused trouble in this town. Let's try that again, much more diplomatically. I just wanted to talk to him and maybe kind of intimidate him and see if he possibly kind of just like fucking fell apart as a result. Like, dude, sorry, I, I'm, I'm not actually that dangerous. You can have the title, we'll call you Dangerous Rhapsody and I'll just be Dan McGrew. Don't worry, I'll actually be pitiful Dan McGrew, I'll be anything at- I'm sorry. What do you mind here? We mine gold. You might say Redding has been has something for everyone. That's what keeps us independent. Nice to be so well liked. Let me ask you about something else. I think that someone would try to try to control Redding. What makes you think they haven't? Everybody would like Redding under their belt. Someone will soon. About the only thing we get to do is choose our master if we want to survive. What do you mean? It means that we're going to be under someone's thumb. The choice is to pick the lightest thumb, which you've done, of course. You bet I have. If we don't ally ourselves with one of the families in New Reno, we can kiss Redding goodbye. At least any type of Redding that I'd want to live in. So, here's what I think is going on, right? I get to choose which of the mines wins, basically, by giving them the control chip. So this guy's going to choose New Reno, who are basically just kind of like slavers and chem runners as far as I'm aware. Maybe not slavers. Maybe I'm getting the slavery information wrong, but I know that they are chem runners and kind of drug dealers and that kind of stuff. Uh, what do you mean? If the Ansire takes over, it'll be put under the thumb hard. They aren't real big on personal freedom. They'll turn Reading into another splotch of NCR map. And the Reading I know will be gone forever. What about Vault City? And Vault City uh, bigoted slave laborers, right? In my personal opinion, NCR. Right? NCR isn't that big on personal freedom, I guess, but they have more parallels with kind of like a current first world. Th this is just me imposing kind of my own morality on the game, right? Which I guess I have to do because I am role playing as the character. Uh, my opinion is basically that the NCR, regardless of whether they don't particularly engage with the idea of personal liberty and freedom as much as some of the other factions, they do provide a rigid structure to society that society would actually need to advance in any significant ways. Therefore, I'm probably going to try and steer them towards NCR. How's New Reno any different? They're strong enough to protect Redding from the other two. Reno is divided up against the gang families, and it's divided enough to give our best chance for autonomy. In New Reno, they don't care about how we run things as long as they get their gold. It ain't a perfect world, chum. Sometimes you've got to make the best of a bad situation. Just turns out bad people may be the best bet for Redding. Not everyone sees it that way, though. Opinions are like assholes, Dan. Everyone's got them and they all stink. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, so what makes you think that's going to happen? Don't know for sure. Whatever the city's got the strongest backers here in Redding is going to get the whole pie. I'm going to do my darndest to make sure that New Reno wins the way I see it. Redding's only chance. Okay. How can you help them take over? Best thing to do is to make mine prosper and make sure my miners know who's paying the bills. The fact that they get all their happy source from New Reno makes the place a lot more popular too. Happy source, of course, is booze, drugs, and all sorts of chemical recreation. You name it, New Reno supplies it. It's just about the only thing that some of my miners work for. Be hell to pay if something happened to that. How's your jet supply lately? Right now, we have hardly enough jet in town to keep everyone happy. 
I sure hope those next few caravans will get through all right. So if I stop the jet, the miners will probably riot, actually. Interesting, let me ask you something else. What have you heard about a Garden of Eden creation kit? I tend to find my Eden in Lou's sweet arms. Oh, Lou? Isn't Lou a guy name? No, but I know Lou is the lady who runs the Malamu. It is when it isn't short for Louisa. L Louisa? I I don't know how I'm supposed to be pronouncing that. With Like my Lou's is. She runs the Malamu Saloon. Hey, just what are you getting at anyway? Nothing, just figuring out something, that's all. Goodbye, sweet pea. My mistake, I better be rambling along. Uh, nothing, Dan. Nothing. What's going on in town? A new excavator ship, I already know that much. Big War Excavator. I'd like to say that it's got plenty of company in town, but I'll say exactly what do you mean? It's control ship burnout. If you need it, why haven't you asked to get it yourself? Plenty of reasons. What the hell is a wanna mingle? You can do that. I'll think it over. I could always use the extra cash. Hell, if it were you, I'd buy the deed to the place, clear it out, and sell it back to Mayor Escorty. He's the deed holder now. Okay. I don't particularly like that guy. Especially because he's back in New Reno. Wrong horse, buddy. Wrong horse. Okay, let's talk to the last gasp. Name's Josh Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Lawrence. I run this place. What is this place exactly? This is the last gasp saloon and funeral parlor. A full service establishment. Bottle to grave is our motto. I love it. I actually really love it. Lucretia Borgia. I don't know who that is. That's probably a reference that's gone way over my head. Probably literary. Uh, da, da, da. That seems like a bizarre combination, Josh. That it is. But I couldn't make it ends meet just burying people. You might say business was dead. Oh, it was a grave matter. I undertook the job of fixing up my place to sell drinks to. I love it. Undertaker. Grave. Burying. Dead. It's so good. Although burying is actually literally not a pun. I don't think I can stand another pun I'm leaving. No, I love him. Give me more. Almost afraid to ask anything else now, but I guess I will anyway. I'd like to buy a round for everyone here. There's no one here. That's very generous of you. That'll be 50 per... 50 for a round of beer for everyone here. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Ouch, puns kill Josh. This is your friendly warning. Take your money. Sure. Actually, there was something else. For my close friends here. There's no one else here. Okay. Not a lot of attention. Uh... Most business is kind of quiet, still as the grave, you might say. Although, lately that doesn't mean much. Oh, what do you mean? I've been spending time reburying people. Don't know why. I mean, it ain't like they have anything valuable on them. Their graves are being excavated? Well, I ain't never seen nothing, but every week or so, one of the graves is all poured up and half dug up like. Don't rightly know what would do that. That's strange. Disturbing is what it is. Now, miners are telling me they'd rather rest out their final days here inside rather than get planted only to be pulled up like an overripe turnip. Hell, I wouldn't mind saving the cute ones inside. Not everyone. I don't know what... Okay, that's... Uh, that's a little gross. What a pleasant image that is. I'm sure I'll wake up in a cold sweat thinking about that one. Let me ask you something else. Yep, very true. Um, nothing else I really need to know, actually. Pretty much learned all the information from you I want to learn, and I've learned enough to know that I'd never want to talk to you again, so that's good. What's up? Have any luck getting that excavated ship? If I had it, you'd be among the first to know. Jeez, I've got warm cuddly on the inside. What do you want? I'm just here to ask you something. I'm Marge, Marge Labarge, and I run this knife, this, uh, mine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I want to know your opinion are you Reno, Republic? I can't imagine that you're Vault City because the Sheriff is... No, it's not the Sheriff. It's the it's the Doctor is Vault City. You're... The other guy is Reno. You've got to be Republic, right? What do you mind here? Gold. Cool. Why'd you call it Coco Weef? Coco Weef, sorry. Kind of... Romantic sounds weird. What do you mind here? You send it all over the place. Yeah, we do. Everyone likes gold. You should talk to the caravan master, James Hoffy, if you're real curious about it. Cool. I like that. Are you a Reading native? No, I was brought up on the edge of the lake, Lake Labarge. So you're Marge Labarge, and that was Lake Labarge. So I have to assume your family is kind of like the owner 
of that area. I've never heard of that. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard of the Garden of Eden creation kit? Sounds impressive. You wouldn't find me grubbing around in the dirt to make ends meet, would you? Well, I guess not. Know anything about jobs going on here? I'll get back to you that. Let me ask you about something else first. No, tell me about the rumors. One of Mingo's coming out of the graveyard at night. Heck, someone even said they saw some kind of flying machine go overhead a few months ago. Okay, so the flying machine is probably going to be a vertebird. The one Amingo we already know about. What'd you hear about a takeover? Or even the NCR wanting to annex us. I tell you, the NCR is our best bet. Yep, they're the NCR. Cool, you're going to be winning this fight. Uh, what are the other things? Other rumors? What's a one Amingo? Tall as two men, stronger than a bull barman. Bull Brahman, sorry. And with flab and suckers instead of arms. Can't be hurt with guns. Can't be hurt with guns neither. That's some new information for me. Supposedly, Injuns called him up for revenge on the white man for what the war did. I don't put much stock in that. Can't be hurt with guns. A flying machine. Cool. Um, a couple of my miners were flying a bit themselves, jetting around if you catch my drift. Wink. They saw up and down, they swore... And saw they saw a ship flying by, going southwest. Cool. So that's either the journey that it was taking or a journey it was returning from. Obviously. Um, that's it. That's all the information I need from you. Now it's time to rob you. I'm rob you blind. I've done enough talking this episode. Now I need to do some robbing. Robbing. Boom. Give me that. You cannot pick that up. You're at your maximum capacity. Scout handbook. Mine. I'm gonna read the hell out of that. You cannot pick up that item. You're at your maximum weight capacity. I'm just trying to search it and I can't pick it up. Okay, that that's interesting. Well, first off, let's read the book. What you be need? I'm going to give you all of the ammo I'm not using. Because ammo is pretty heavy, if I recall from the first game. Well, apparently it's not. Apparently I'm just wrong, actually. Fucking hell, you can just have everything. How's that? I have the fucking traffic keys as well. I don't give a shit. I have the yellow key card. I have that. How about those as well? Those are actually surprisingly heavy. You just be the carry man. You carry everything, okay? And the beer. Done. That's 40 pounds I've just offloaded to him. So I should be able to pick up whatever it is that I keep trying to pick up here. You cannot pick up that item. You're at your maximum weight capacity. It's as though something like that weighs 50 is right there and I keep trying to pick it up and I can't take it. What's my weight at? Okay, so I have 55 weight left. What's this way? Five pounds. I should check out the weight on my individual items. The dynamite weighs five pounds. You know what? I'll give both of the dynamites to you. What you won't use them in battle, will you? Guess I'll take the mentats and that back because they actually can't be used right now. Um, 14 millimeter pistol. I'll unload the 14 millimeter pistol and the hunting rifle. Then I'll give you the 14mm pistol, because now it doesn't have any ammo, so you can't actually use it. The shotgun just doesn't even have anything in it, so it'll just give you the shotgun straight up. If you... all of the antidotes... God, I'm just trying to offload things as quickly as I can. Okay. Now you're straight up, like, pack-horsing almost everything for me. Please be able to pick up whatever this is. Can I pick up that item? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to assume it's a bug at this rate. Like, it's in... Oh. Rotegnum rum. Roent gen rum. It glows in the dark. Okay. Well, I'll probably sell that to the guy 
in Vault City. Which reminds me, I should go to Vault City. Fairly ordinary wooden table. Cool, search the stuff on it. Get myself some things that I can sell. Okay. More things that I can just offload. I like that there's some dynamite here. That's going to be pretty good for me. Just being able to use the dynamite to blow up anything that's locked. Okay. Here's another area that describes itself as Cocoa Weef. These got to be the miners of Cocoa Weef, right? I'm looking at you too. Welcome to Big City. Yup, I've been looking at you too. How you doing? These guys are nicer. The miners for the other town are shit fucks. Yes, that is a good way to describe people. It's a very descriptive at least. Okay. And you people don't have anything to steal, do you? No, I already like you guys more. I'm not even going to search that hard for things to steal from you. That's how much I like you. I'm not going to search as much as I usually would to find things that I can take. Okay, this is the Cocoa Weef mine, right? It has to be. Out of order. Interesting. Can I repair? You see machinery. Okay. I'm gonna have to assume I can't do any repairing that. Laddie, get away from the freaking... You're gonna get yourself irradiated, buddy. <sighs> okay, there's a toilet in the middle of the graveyard. Who's taking a deuce while looking at the graves? What a life to lead. Check my stopwatch. Okay, we've got about seven minutes left in the episode. I've been spending the entire time talking to people. Hang on, did I forget to go down here? Oh no, I, I, I did. Never mind. I did go down there. I'm kind of interested in just like scouting out whether or not I can fight with the other guys. But at the same time, I kind of just want to go to the vault city. So how about I actually try that? Okay, Vault City's pretty far away. But I do have a lot better outdoorsman skill than I did previously, so I should be able to just, like, swat away encounters. There's a few more things I want to do in Redding, but not right now. Some claim jumpers. Excuse me? That one is wielding an M60. We're going to be running away, and I'm still probably going to die. I'm lucky that they're aiming at me rather than at my dog. Please don't just kill the dog. Oh, laddie knocked over the do uh, the dude. Nice. Okay. I can't believe I let Ghost Farm die. Oh, I'm still really annoyed with myself about that one. I just heard a message appear, but obviously I can't see it. It's probably that I've been irradiated. Yeah, you feel nauseous. That's me being irradiated right there. That's too many scorpions to take on at once. Like, I'd have to kill one every hit, and you know what? I'm gonna try. Didn't even kill it. Cool. I'm gonna try and run away. I probably can't run away from this one, actually. I couldn't even kill that. I can't even run. This is gonna be bad. Sulik needs to like straight up kill some of them instantly. Okay, I've finally been poisoned. I do have an anti-venom on me, but it is in my inventory, so I would have to pass up a turn entirely to do it. Okay. 
Two down. The dog actually feasibly could have killed that one. Laddie has to start running away. Yeah. Laddie, please don't die. Fuck me dead. There's like no way Laddie survives right now, right? Yeah, 4 HP. There goes Laddie. Okay, reload. Not letting Laddie die. Oh no, this is before I did all of the inventory management as well. Ugh. Yuck. Fine, let's just rob all of the stuff. I'll not take a few things just to make it easier on myself, I guess. Say what you want about me. I am robbing these very, very quickly. Don't care about that. Do care about that. Cool. I didn't care to rob these guys. There was nothing there anyway. Okay, so Sulik, just follow. Actually, I managed to get myself out of that really quickly. Okay. Got about four minutes left. I can probably get to Reading in that time. Sorry, Reading. Uh, I can probably get to Vault City in that time. If I could take two shots in a turn, it would be a lot easier. You hear some sounds from within the... Okay, cool. But I encounter some wolves whom I'm going to have to moiter. One wolf down. Seventy-one for the eyes? Nah. Ninety-one for the head. Was that one damage away from killing it? Yeah, it was. Laddie was just killed in a single round of combat. I'm starting to feel like it's going to be very difficult to keep Laddie alive. All right. This is the last time I reload for Laddie. Because it's really difficult to keep them alive. Also, I forgot to read my scout handbook, so I'm just a dumb dude. Okay, so I can take the flares, but I can't take the crowbar. I can take the tool. And then I won't overburden myself when I take the explosives from here. Okay, again, let's get ourselves to the border. Luckily, this isn't taking that much time. 23 minutes, two minutes to cross the entire desert. I think I can do that. Two min. Boom. Well, that says two in, like a really, really disappointing measurement. Go. I really don't know if I can keep the dog alive. <sighs> Another encounter this time, it's golden geckos. So there's no golden geckos on this side, just a few up this. Okay. As long as they come one at a time, it shouldn't actually be that bad. Okay, we sit for 16 and currently has a lot more it points actually. Okay, I can move three, and then I can still take an aimed shot against the head. Okay, it's on the grounds. Lovely. Hey, that actually leveled me up. Nice. Oh, right, it's the level up I was expecting ages ago and didn't get. You know what? I feel like I need to go, like, all into small guns. Because my small gun's aim is just horrible. Wait, what? What? I have 20 skill points, and then every time I put one skill point in... Why is it depleting me of two skill points? What? Every one skill point I should put in... Should give me... What? Uh, two. 
doing it. Not two skill points for one. Oh, fuck me dead. Um, guess I just up the shit out of lockpick. I really want to get small guns like 150. Fuck it. Fuck it. Miami shit house, and I need it to be not shit house. 87. Immediate crit killed it. That's how I want a fight to typically go. Look how much higher my shots are now. Standing right next to it, I have an 80 rather than a set, uh, like, what was it, 63 to stand right next to it and hit? Okay, every turn I'm not killing a golden gecko, I'm making this so much more difficult for myself. Oh my god. It's one put down. Oh. It's another one put down. That one was me. Laddie is knocking him down sometimes. I'm liking that a lot. What? Sulek couldn't even put you down. You should have like no HP left. See, this is when it's really good. When Laddie is hitting them while they're trying to hit me. Okay. Please be... Thank you. That one's dead. Because then Laddie just gets in free hits. If Laddie's not focused, Laddie actually does really well. I don't know how that one's still alive, because it has taken so many hits right now. Isn't this the one that was knocked down before as well? Reload. And then shoot it in the head. I missed on a 95 roll. It killed me. It killed me. I missed on a 95. Never lucky, baby rage. Never lucky. Cannot believe it. At least I've saved myself here, so I can attempt that journey again next episode in Fallout 2. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Fallout 2, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like, it does help me get my content out to new people. I'm sorry that I have to ask that at the end of every single episode, but there have been studies that have proven that asking reminds people, like, it's actually really surprisingly effective um, and kind of necessary in terms of the way that YouTube calculates search results and stuff like that. <sighs> I should do that occasionally, just get real and actually like explain why I say that at the end of every episode. It also gives me warm fuzzies on the inside, so that's a good thing to do as well. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. Playlist in the description down below for Hearthstone. Uh, sorry, for Hearthstone. What? For Fallout 1 and 2, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.